Good morning. We are talking about a buckler today. So in scripture, in the Old Testament especially, we see this word buckler or bucklers used multiple times. David likes to use this word a lot. We're going to see it in Psalm quite a few times um, today. Well, just a couple times today. We're going to be in Psalm 18 and verse 2 at first here. It says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Now, when we look at this word and we look at this passage of scripture, especially this verse, we see a lot of defense mechanisms uh, that are used like even in war. So we see this, this fortress mentioned and we see uh, this buckler mentioned. We see uh, this high tower that is mentioned. And so, you know, when you think about like a tower, like a high tower, it's it's like provision, like you can see things afar off and see things from a distance, right? And see things uh, from a different vantage point, which gives you a broader and wider view of um, your uh, battleground. So like in, in war, is, it, this is really speaking about David is saying that the, the Lord is my rock and he's my fortress and he's my deliverer. He's my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. And so let's look at this word buckler. We're going to take a focus today on not all of these strategies that is mentioned here in this passage of scripture of what how God works for us and how he's our defense, how he's our safety, how he's our protection. Uh, we're looking at just the word buckler. So a buckler is uh, at this time that they would use this in war. Now, a lot of times these soldiers, when they'd go out on the battlefield, they would have like one very large um, shield that they could crouch in behind. It was big and round and it was heavy to carry. And they, as they're walking out to, to engage into uh, contact and close contact, they would use this big, huge shield that they could crouch down underneath if there was like uh, arrows and, and fiery darts and things like this coming in at them. But when they would get into close range with someone, they would have a defense mechanism uh, it was it was rather small and easy to move around and it would be on and they would grip it in their hand or it would be attached and bound to their forearm but it was another small shield so when we look at this word buckler as being a defense um, this is what God is for us he is our defense in close range in close contact with the enemy um, when we study the word, we find out that we really have one enemy. We think, uh, as, if, as according to Ephesians chapter 6, we think that we wrestle against flesh and blood. Um, but, but what the word tells us and teaches us is, is that basically just as God uses people to be a blessing to other people, Satan also uses people. So people are being used... Uh, against us in this world we and so every, Satan is behind uh, everything that has come against us okay and so in, in Ephesians chapter 6 it tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places against the rulers of the darkness of this world is speaking about Satan and his army. Now, why do we say Satan has an army? It's because when Satan, remember, he had been an angel uh, that was kicked out of heaven um, because he wanted to be God. And so God also gave the angels free will to be able to, to be real, right? When God made things, he didn't create robots to you know, just serve him, bow down towards him and, and do and sing and do all these things um, at like a force, at like a switch that he turns on and off. Um, he gave his creation free will, which gives us the ability, the capability of doing things in a genuine way. 
They're actually real when we do them. And, and so Satan was kicked out of heaven when he wanted to be God. Um, and he wanted to take God's place. And he was kicked out with a third of the angels. So there is this spiritual power that is here uh, in present on this earth until God judges everything, until he's done with everything, right? Because God's not done with us yet until this until this world is over and until it's done and then we live eternally with him. But until then, we have this opportunity to be used of God, to come to know the Lord. And so as we are about in our lives, we are really when we are facing things that and and strategies and people that are coming up against us and and um hardships um uh, and it's like a war right sometimes we call it like a storm of life uh, or a season of life that is challenging and so satan is behind all of that satan is behind those things that are looking and uh, to destroy us because that's what Satan is. He's a destroyer. Another verse in scripture says, Satan cometh not but for to kill and to steal and to destroy. So we have one enemy, it's Satan and his army, but we have a God as his people. And what is God? He is a defense in this world. And so when we see this word buckler now knowing that it's like this, it's a weapon that's being used. It's a shield that's being used in close range, in close contact. When we, when we are to the grindstone in war and in a situation um, in which we need some kind of help, we need some defense. Okay. So that would, that that buckler was able to be used and maneuvered in all of these directions as things are coming in in close range. Um, so let's look over, we're going to look at two other passages of scripture really quickly um, a, that is speaking about uh, a buckler. So we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 2. We're going to look at verse 7. It says, He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Uh, you know the people that are walking uprightly. It's not the people that are walking perfect because none of us are, are perfect. We are made perfect. We are made new in Jesus Christ. But we still live with this uh, influence of the flesh. You know, we still live in this body of that has not been made perfect, but one day that it will. But we have this uh, flesh that we still live in. But what these people that are walking uprightly is because, as we spoke about in our teaching yesterday, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus according to the Word. The Bible teaches us that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In 2 Corinthians chapter 15, I believe, we talked about this yesterday. And so when we are made a new creature, we are clean and cleansed of all sin. So God doesn't no longer see us at all as a sinner. He sees us as his perfect people, his righteous people. And so when we look at this one, to those that walk uprightly and that God is a, is a buckler to those that walk uprightly here in Proverbs 2, 7, uh, think about this. This, that this is what God is for us. But look at that first part of verse 7, where it says, He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. You know what wisdom is? It's truth. It's, it's the truth, right? And it's always the truth that makes us free. Let's turn back over to Psalm. Look at one more verse here, and then we're going to tie all this in together. Psalm 91. And verse 4. Okay, give me a second to get over here. Psalm 91, 4. This is our closing verse here today. It says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Do you know what is your weapon of defense in close range. And even David mentions your shield as well. So the shield is the big one, right? That uh, things that are far off. Remember, and even mentioned in Psalm 18 too, about how he's our high tower 
and he is our defense from things afar off. But this shield, this big shield, and this buckler in close range that we have this defense in this world, and how is it? It's given to us very plainly here in Psalm 91, and when we read here in verse 4, it says, His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You know what his truth is? It's his word. His word is our shield. It's our defense. He's our buckler in close range, the truth of his word. How might we apply it in our lives today? Well, first of all, if we don't know it, how can we make application of something that we do not know? Right? If you know the Lord, his truth is inside of you because his spirit is there as well. But his spirit will always align with the truths of his word. So many people are going out today and they're doing things that that they say, well, you know, God has just let me know that this is okay. But it's, it, it's in complete contrast to the truths of the word. And see that the spirit of God inside of us will always align up with his truth. So you want some defense in your life? Do you need some help in things that are far off and things that are in close range and that hand-to-hand -hand combat and battle as you ensue? You're going to find that help. You're going to find that safety. You're going to find that protection in the Lord and in the truths and the wisdom of his word that will be your defense. That is your weapon of defense is the truth of the word of God. Well, I hope that you all have enjoyed today's teaching today on buckler. Well, what is that buckler? It is, it, it is that close range. It's that uh, weapon, that close range weapon in our lives. And it is the truth of the word of God, the truths of God that is going to be our defense and our shield and our protection and our safety in life in the battles of life. Well, God bless you all. Lord willing, we'll be back on Monday with a new teaching. If you'd like to subscribe to our page to um, get those new teachings as they drop in, please just hit subscribe. If you liked this video, please like it, share it maybe with some other people, and God bless you all.